Good afternoon. In this episode, I want to share uh, this node tree setup using Geometry Nodes in Blender 2.1. Um, that's kind of making this kind of abstract creations. It's looking like a, it's a it's the default cube, right? But uh, it's, it's looking like a cell kind of being broken up, and there's like a chaos happening uh, underneath. So it looks like a cell. If I turn this back into solid you can see okay this is like a the default cube and it's looking a little bit like cell uh, because I'm using uh, the dual mesh without the dual mesh this is gonna be just like a triangle so the dual mesh have something to do with it at the same time I'm using uh, a little bit of masking and decimate Okay, so obviously there's something going on underneath and that's uh, basically a weight that's keep changing on the fly. If I switch this to, actually if I get rid of the dual mesh, if I take a look at the weight paint, if I get rid of the mass and decimate, we should be able to see there's a weight happening. Okay. So, okay, underneath this, all of those uh, setup or like those effects with the masking and decimate, we can see this uh, just the weight that's changing on the fly. If we look underneath, this is basically okay, this is the default cube, and then we, uh, we transform it, and I'm using subdivisions. So it's subdivided a couple of times. And then there's joint geometry. We don't need this, but I just keep it there. And this object have a, already have a vertex group. So we need to have a vertex group and some kind of starting geometry in order for this to work. Um, what's interesting and actually doing the job is actually geometry proximity all right so this is the one that's doing all this weird kind of uh, weight that's changing on the fly so what i did was to create a bunch of random points and then i manipulate the points positions using noise so if i turn this off um, there should be like just like a bunch of points but anyway um yeah if i turn off the effects I, okay the point is somewhere floating in 3d space anyway um and i can control the scale of the noise that's affecting the points so based on the distance of the points on face it's gonna generate this weight so this this part may be familiar to you uh, just noise that's being uh, randomized using uh, time okay so we have new this this is new nodes in blender 3.1 alpha we have seen time that's <clears throat> being multiplied and then plug into the original vector position and then this is being used to kind of make the noise swimming and then I'm I'm just simply using this add minus 0 0.5 to normalize the noise and then multiplying it in 3d space so they're kind of traveling around <clears throat> and then I'm using that space to randomize the points on face right that's a, a mouthful but yeah the one that's doing the job is really this geometry proximity it's a it's really interesting nodes and from the pro proximity of these points it's looking at the original default cube and then creating weight so I'm controlling it using color ram but we can also use map range so there you have two options here 
the output of course is going to be our noise weight weighted noise and then from here we can simply use decimate use the weight and then play around with the topology so look and you can see because if I if I turn triangulations and then at the same time I can use like a, another geometry nodes and dual mesh is gonna turn into some kind of cell so the cell is kind of eating the default cube and changing the the cell on the fly on top of that you can also use of course the mask and use the same group weight So now we have these effects. Let's just take a look. If we use the geometry nodes and the dual mesh, we're gonna have cell that's kind of being eaten by the proximity weight. Okay, so it's a yeah, pr it seems pretty complex, but it's actually quite simple. There's an example. Yeah, this is actually the same thing. Um, but it's what instead of default cube this is working on the plane okay maybe I this is for the for the thumbnails but a really interesting setup hopefully you find this useful uh, thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye